The last stop on our tour was Hergada. The days on this trip felt really long because we were doing so much, but the trip itself felt really short, and I couldn't believe that it was already ending. Longest bus ride ever. <laughs> Can I light myself? So, oh, this is, oh, I look scary. <laughs> we are in Hergada? Hergada. 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 <laughs> After, uh, was it a four and a half hour bus ride? Yes. Um, bonding about life. We, oh, that's, oh, that's much better lighting. You look like Phantom of the Opera. Okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, what are we doing tonight? Beach party. Party. Let's, Beach barbecue. Let's try to sound a little more excited. What are we doing tonight? Beach, Beach party! party. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andrew, also known as Gunnarola, musician and world traveler. This time I'm off to Egypt with Kentiki on an eight-day guided tour. We saw pyramids and temples, rode camels, and maybe even ate one. I'd rather enjoy camel. It tastes like a breakfast sausage. <laughs> but that's not all we did. This is the story of Egypt and the Nile. This does feel like Las Vegas. <laughs> That was a long bus ride. Now we're checking into our hotel. Woo! Busy hotel, busy hotel, busy hotel. I had mentioned previously that I was really surprised at how few tourists there were everywhere we went in Egypt, but as it turns out, they were all in Hergada. Hergada is the third largest city in Egypt and it's one of the major tourist centers. You can definitely tell by all the lights and the shops as we were driving in and the resort hotel where we stayed, which was just along the coast of the Red Sea. Okay, this is a resort hotel. Got hieroglyphics on the elevator. Let's go to room 424. I can tell you this because by the time you see this video, I will no longer be here. Four, two, four. Okay. Fun. I get a nice little seating area for all of my guests. It was officially our last night all together as a group, so we had a barbecue dinner. All right, gonna meet the gang for dinner. Our last dinner together. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Lovely. It smells amazing too. <laughs> Hi. There was also some live music, which we provided. <laughs> <laughs> and given that it was our last night all together, we decided to let loose. But we can skip over the exact details of the night. Trust. You guys come to that boxing. Of course, we ended up at McDonald's, but I was really excited because I'd been waiting the whole trip to try something new and exotic. Hello, viewers. <laughs> Me. Today, we are going to try McDonald's oh, kangaroo burger. No, oh, camel. It's camel. <laughs> Sharif told us we were going to try camel burgers, so I bit right into that thing and I ate all of it and I loved it. I Hello. rather enjoy camel. It's good. It tastes like a breakfast sausage. Can't quite explain the British accent, but I got on the bus the next day and I told everyone we had tried camel burger and no one believed me. So I looked up the ingredients of the Mick Arabia online and as it turns out, we had chicken. Thanks, Sharif. The next morning, we had the option of riding ATVs through the desert or going on a cruise on the Red Sea. I was so excited to wake up early and capture the sunrise from my hotel balcony and go on an epic adventure. But I woke up at noon, so I didn't get to do any of that stuff. Okay, so last night was something. Um, it's the last day of our Egypt tour. We have the morning in Hergada, and then we're gonna take a bus back to Cairo, and then we're gonna fly home. Hergada is beautiful, and Egypt as a whole I have discovered on this trip is not just deserts, it's beautiful. And if you want proof of that, let me show you my view. Not even gonna lie, 
I'm jealous of myself. After that, we packed up and got on the bus back to Cairo. Hello, Kotiki! Wakey, wakey! Guys, goodbye, Hurghada! Like, on the roads, the first like couple of hours, are gonna be really amazing view. So we're driving along the Red Sea. The drive through the desert was pretty long, but it was the perfect opportunity to reflect on what an incredible experience this had been. Some people had waited their whole lives to go to Egypt, and we all had different reasons for being there, but I don't think anyone can say they were disappointed. I think a lot of us were surprised, and I think it just goes to show you gotta get out there and see the world because you never know what you'll find. Whether it's a cultural surprise or just meeting amazing people, and thankfully this trip had both. Egypt has been number one on my bucket list for as long as I can remember. I was probably five years old and I saw a picture of the pyramids in a library and I started looking into it more and I just read book after book. My parents never wanted to travel. My parents never really had any desire to travel. Everyone knows of my love of Egypt and how much of a lifetime dream it was for me to come here. I feel like the first day made my trip. Like I would have gone on this trip alone for the first day. After that, everything else was a bonus. I was surprised by how beautiful Egypt is. It's so, it's, it's green in some parts here along the Nile. Um, the people are so nice. I feel so safe here. I was kind of nervous. And so I didn't want to be alone, and I booked Kentucky. Other people had told me that they loved Kentucky. They made lifelong friends. From my first Kentucky in 2010, I've met, I think there's about six or seven people that I'm, I'll consider them to be some of my closest friends. So you meet some amazing people from all over the world. I've done, um, I think, about seven or eight different Kentuckys before, and it's always a, a pleasure to have a guide that really transformed the uh, the land from something that you just go and see to something that you really experience. Sharif was absolutely amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better tour guide. So knowledgeable, fun, always happy, ready to have a good time. He made the trip. Now just on behalf of, I think, everyone on this bus, Sharif, and I speak for everyone, would like to uh, thank you for this amazing Kentucky experience. You honestly have been like our pharaoh, God of rising sun. <laughs> for a highlight for everyone, if we had to say what our highlight was, I reckon nearly everyone on this bus would mention your name, mate. So thanks for everything. Thank, thanks. Thanks. Everyone. Yeah. For me, it was really amazing week because I really had a good time with everyone. The everyone was really friendly and nice with me, so I really felt comfortable. I felt myself with you, so it was great. So thanks for you guys, love you too, Habibi, you're all Habibi. I think that people told you don't go to Egypt, you should tell them you should go to Egypt. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Egypt. Sir. This is going to be our new friendship cookie. Oh my god. Perfect break. Oh three pieces for three people. <laughs> you can have this piece because it looks a little bit like Tasmania and that's in Australia and that's where you're going to come and visit me. Oh. <laughs> and this is mine because it's a smile and you guys make me smile. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. 